Hello, hello, hello. It is Stephanie Fine, Dr. Fine with you today because it's 1230 on Thursday and that's what we do. It is ounce of prevention chat time. We chat about the ounce of prevention which you get in your inbox every Thursday morning. All you have to do is sign up, stephaniefinemd.com. Right there, you can get it. And we talk about uh, tips, important new developments, things that will help you keep weight off, lose weight, all things weight related for your health. So that's what we do. So I have, this is the second week and the last week that we're going to talk about Obesity Week, which was a research conference. It's the premier research conference on, on obesity and they have an annual conference. This was just in Vegas in November. And uh, we talked about intermittent fasting last time. So if you missed that one, go check out that video because it actually has a lot of good stuff in it. Um, I'm totally convinced about intermittent fasting for a certain population of, of people losing weight. So today we're, get, we're sopping up the last bits. And the two things I'm gonna dive deeper into are um, fat cells and leptin. And because of that, we cannot leave out insulin. So this is just interesting stuff that I want you to know that may come around, but it's, it's interesting pieces of information to know about fat. So the thing about the fat cells, and I talked about this, is just that it's the life of a fat cell if, it, if you continue to gain weight. If you don't continue to gain weight, it's just a little fat cell and it does its thing. We used to think it was inner tissue, meaning it doesn't do anything, it just sits there. Oh no, my friend. There is tons of stuff that that stuff does, and so in it, and it contributes to the health uh, problems of obesity. So it's not just that you're literally carrying more weight, which can of course happen. You get you can get joint problems, but it's that it causes inflammation. And heart disease is directly linked to inflammation. Um, diabetes is, is related to inflammation. There are so many things related to inflammation and what fat, the actual t fat tissue does, is itself gets inflamed. So First, each fat cell, there's a fat cell, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then at, and then more and more and more come if you're just continuing to gain weight. And then it starts to organize because now it's getting so big that it needs um, blood supply in order to survive. And when that blood, when it's more and more and more and that blood supply is choked off, you get inflammation on the fat. And that leads to insulin resistance. So the, the reason why this is so fascinating to me is because that's the mechanism, or at least one of them, about how um, type 2 diabetes and overweight and obesity lead to insulin resistance, which is on its way to diabetes. The reason why insulin resistance is so important is because remember, insulin is the fat storage hormone. When there's insulin on board, you can't burn fat. So it's one of these things, like it literally blocks it. So having inflammation um, means that you have more insulin resistance, which then means your body needs to produce more insulin in order for it to work, which means there's more insulin on board. It's one of these cycles. And so the insulin resistance is the piece I wanted to remind you of, that insulin is the fat storage hormone, and when you have more on board, it's, it's no bueno for, for fat. And you see how it's a, one of these loops. The good news is when you lose weight, the inflammation of the fat cells, the, ad, the adipose tissue goes down, and your then whole body inflammation goes down and your insulin resistance can decrease, so you can become insulin sensitive again. That's not for everybody, but this is a general way most people who, who aren't in full-fledged diabetes, although even there, losing weight makes a huge difference, and I've absolutely personally seen people be off diabetes medications when they lose weight. So. Insulin is so intimately connected with inflammation and with the fat cells. That was a very interesting thing to learn um, at the conference. And the second one I'm gonna go into, there are a couple more um, short topics in the blog, but today I'm just gonna hit on these two. The other one is leptin. So leptin, also released from the fat cells. Remember I told you we used to think the fat was just sitting there? No, no, there's lots of stuff going on. And fat cells release leptin, and that's to tell you to stop eating and start moving. When it's working well, it's awesome. You'd think that the more fat you have, the more leptin you have, the more you'd stop eating. It wasn't turning out that that was the case. And in fact, people, you know, researchers were all excited to get 
uh, to figure out leptin so that they can inject it at people and they'd stop eating. It didn't happen that way. So what they found was this. More insulin led to, no, not insulin. More leptin led to leptin resistance. You can see why I got that that word in there because we were just talking about insulin resistance. Well, there's leptin resistance also. And when there's too much, um, the the receptors downregulate. What that means is there are they start to protect themselves because there's too much leptin. So now when there's too more leptin, the leptin becomes uh, useless or not very potent. It doesn't work right. So, you know, it's so funny because American ideas are the more the better. You know, if a little works, a lot will work better. It so does not work that way with leptin. Less is more. So that again, when you lose weight and you go down to a normal level of leptin, that your sensitivity goes up and it works better. So, I mean, we already know that losing weight helps so many things, but this is another mechanism of how that works. And that, your, and that your system can then recalibrate so that your, the hunger and then you're satisfied and all that stuff can get better as you lose weight. So that was the interesting thing about leptin. I thought that was, and, and it was a new discovery. It was a keynote. It was one of these, like everyone was there for this um, event. So knowing that piece is now important. It's another piece of the puzzle. And we will hear more probably about leptin and, and the other hormones too. So that's fat cells. Fat cells are fascinating. And I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. Now you have these tidbits you can talk to your spouse or your work coworkers about, (laughs) Um, knowing about the hormones because they're super important. Oh, and then there's someone in our (laughs) shot. Hello, mister. Um, So I'm so happy to see you. Next week's Thanksgiving. I'm going to pop in with a couple tips and just to say hello and and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So I'd love to see you because on Thanksgiving, you know, we need a little shoring up sometimes. Have a great week until then, and I will see you in a week. Bye.